the Upanishads in two parts, translated by Max Muller. Part two, Sveta Svatara Upanishad, fifth Adhyaya. In the imperishable and infinite highest Brahman, wherein the two, knowledge and ignorance, are hidden. The one, ignorance, perishes. The other, knowledge, is immortal. But he who controls both knowledge and ignorance is another. It is he who, being one only, rules over every germ, cause, over all forms, and over all germs. It is he who, in the beginning, bears, in his thoughts, the wise son, the fiery, whom he wishes to look on while he is born, in that field in which the entity, after spreading out one net after another in various ways, draws it together again, the Lord, the Great Self, having further created the Lords, thus carries on his Lordship over all, as the car of the sun shines, lighting up all quarters, above, below, and across. Thus does that entity, the holy, the adorable, being one, rule over all that has the nature of a germ. He, being one, rules over all and everything, so that the universal germ ripens its nature, diversifies all natures that can be ripened, and determines all qualities. Brahma Aranyakarpa knows this, which is hidden in the Upanishads, which are hidden in the Vedas as the Brahma germ. The ancient entities and poets who knew it, they became it and were immortal. But he who is endowed with qualities and performs works that are to bear fruit and enjoys the reward of whatever he has done migrates through his own works, the Lord of Life assuming all forms, led by the three Unas, and following the three paths. That lower one also, not larger than a thumb, but brilliant like the sun, who is endowed with personality and thoughts, with the quality of mind and the quality of body, is seen small even like the point of a goat. That living soul is to be known as part of the hundredth part of the point of a terror, divided a hundred times, and yet it is to be infinite. It is not woman, it is not man, nor is it neuter. Whatever body it takes, with that it is joined. By means of thoughts, touching, seeing, and passions, the incarnate self assumes successfully in various places various forms in accordance with his deeds, just as the body grows when food and drink are poured into it. That incarnated self, according to his own qualities, chooses, assumes, many shapes, coarse or subtle, and having himself caused his union with them, he is seen as another and another through the qualities of his acts and through the qualities of his body. He who knows him, who has no beginning and no end, in the midst of chaos, creating all things, having many forms, alone and enveloping everything, is freed from all fetters. Those who know him, who is to be grasped by the mind, who is not to be called the nest body, who makes existence and non-existence the happy one, who also creates the elements, they have left the body. And we think of this whole thing like, um, and other passages, like, why are they using these different names? Like, oh, this is the, the god of this, you know, this is the creator of this, and it's like, well, just like the element stuff, one follows the other, but not necessarily in objective sequence. It's, it's just a way of, you know, describing. Although there are contradictions between some stuff. Um, but verse 14, the nest, the body, Nida is explained as the body, but Sun Karananda reads Anilakyam, who is called the wind as being Pranasya, 
from them, the breath of the breaths, and creeps the elements. Sankara explains Kala Sargakaram, by he who creates the 16 Kalas, mentioned by the Athar Benikas, beginning with Prana and ending with Naman. See the Prafla Upanishad 6 4. Vignatman suggests two other explanations. He who creates by means of the Kala, i.e., his inherent power, or he who creates the Vedas and other sciences. The 16 Kalas are, according to some Karananda, Prana, Shraddha, Ka, Vayu, Gyote, Ap, Prithivi, Indriya, Manah, Anna, Virya, Tapa, Mantra, Karman, Kala, Naman, see also 414. So, four programs ago. And in verse 3, uh, I mean verse 13, see 3, 7, and 4, 14, 16. And 12, he is seen as another and another. Instead of Aparo, B reads Babaro, but explains Aparo. In various forms, verse 11, forms as high as Haranyagarbha are as low as beasts. 11, also, in general, the manuscript varied considerably. Instead of Moher, A and B read Homer. They read Gra Sam Bhuvrishtya Katma. A reads Atma Vib Rid the Ganma, B reads Atmanavridha Ganma. A has Abhisam Prapadya, B has Abhisam Prapadya. I think I said that wrong. B has Abhisam Prap Adyate. My translation follows Sankara, who seems to have read Atma Viv Rid the Gamma, taking the whole line as a simile in an adverbial form. Vigna Natman, however, differs considerably. He reads Homae, and explains Homa as the act of throwing oblations into the fire, as in the Agnihotra. This action of the hands, he thinks, stands for all actions of the various members of the body. Gra sam vrishte, he takes to mean free, distribution of food and drink, and then explains the whole sentence by he whose self is born unto some states or declines from them again, namely according as he has showered food and drink and has used his hands, eyes, feelings, and thoughts. Sankarananda takes a similar view, only he construes Sankalpanam and Sparsanam as two Dreshtes, Te Eva Dreshti, Te Yor Atma Gnau Prakshapa Homah, and then goes on Neva Tabalam Etae Kim Tav Asman Satana Savere. Grasam Bhuvrishtya Ka, he seems to read Atma Viv Riddha Ganma, but afterwards explains Viv Riddha by Viv Riddha Riddha. And verse 10 that is joined A and B read Yugyata. A explains Yugyata by some. Adyata, B explains Adyata, Bakshyata, Therobhuta, Kriyata, Sankara explains Rakshyata, Sam Rakshyata, Tadharman, Atmana, Adyasya, Dhammanyata, and 100th point of the hair, that 
part, it, it's a frequent occurrence in Buddhist literature, you know, because the real self is so infinitesimally small comparatively to the body, even. Um, in verse 8, both manuscript A and B read Aramatro Ye Avaro Ape Rishta. And the three paths, the paths of vice, virtue, and knowledge. Also, verse 7, here begins the description of what is called Tvam, thou, as opposed to the Tat, that, i.e. the living soul, as opposed to the highest Brahman. Verse 6, this verse admits of various translations and requires also some metrical emendations, thus, Vigna, yeah, thus, Vigna Natman explains Veda Gu Hyo Panish Atsu very ingenuously by the Veda, i.e., that part of it which teaches sacrifices and the rewards, the Guhya, the Guhya, i.e., the Aranyaka, which teaches the worship of Brahman under various legendary aspects. See, that's why we have the different names for deity. And the Upanishads, which teach the knowledge of Brahman without qualities. These three divisions would correspond to the Karmakanda, Yogakanda, and Jnanakanda. Gaemine, Patangale, Dara Yana. See Dusen Vedanta, page 20. Mr. Goff and Dr. Rower take Brahmayana as the source of the Veda or as the source of Haranyagarbha. The irregular form Vedanta may be due to a corruption of Vedanta. And verse 5 and determines all qualities. This is again a very difficult verse. I've taken Vista Yanesh as a name for Brahman, possessed of that Devatma Sakta, which was mentioned before, but I do not feel by any means satisfied. The commentators do not help because they do not see the difficulty of the construction. If one might conjecture, I should prefer Paket or Pakate and should write Para. Namayed Yat and Vine Yogoyed Yat, unless we change Yaka into Yaska. And that can be ripened. This again is a very difficult verse. I have taken Vista Yume as a name for Brahman, possessed of that Devatma Sakate which was mentioned before, but I feel by no means said Okay. Party said that. Sorry about it. Um, verse 4. The nature of a germ. The manuscript B has Prakyan and explains it by Pravut Pannan and Okay, I have okay, the nature of the germ. C4 11 Five, two. Oh, created the lords. From Hermyanya Garba to insects are beginning with Mariki. Also in verse 3, the great self. I doubt whether Mahatma should be translated by the great self or whether great would not be sufficient. The whole verse is extremely difficult. Um, one net after another. Sankara explains. Eta ekam by pratyakam, i.e., for every creature, such as the entities, the men, the beasts, and so on. In that field, the world are the mula prakrete, and that being the samsara. And verse 3 in general, the manuscript read yasmin for asmin and patayas for yatayas, which the commentator explains by patin. While he is born, verse 2, see on this verse the remarks made in the introduction. And verse, uh, and, okay, wishes to look on, 
like a father. Bears, like a mother, C19. And a Merce 1 is another. Sankara explains that he is different from them, being only the section or witness. Sankarananda seems to have read Somya, i.e. Samavat Prayadarsana, as if Sveta Svatara addresses people. Parishes. Sankara explains Ksharan by some Ranam Amritam by Moksha Hetu and are hidden Gudha Lokair Gnatum Asakya San Karananda and the highest Brahman, Sankara explains Brahma Pare by Brahmano Haranyagarbhat Pare or by Parasman Brahmana, which comes to the same Vigna Natman as Khandasa Paranapata, as the termination E may belong to the locative singular or to the nominative dual commentators vary in referring some of the adjectives either to Brahman or to Vidya Vidya.